Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Automatron DLC. The place where, uh, we still have sweeping in intros. I saw a lot of the votes and a lot of the comments, and people were saying we like the intros. And I wanted to make it clear that I didn't want to necessarily get rid of them if everybody was having a good time, just that the data was showing that there were people skipping. And so I was like, okay, you know, if it's skipped, it shows that people don't like it. Now, the thing that's important to keep in mind, and that really adds to this, is the fact that when you have people who are indicating one thing in the analytics, it is always important to do that final check with you. To say, hey, group of people who constantly comment, you're the ones who up the engagement, you're the ones who tell me what's going on, you provide me the feedback, and so you're the ones that I want to make happy. And so I'm very happy to provide that for you. Anyway, this sweeping shot was a lot of fun to do. Now let's go a little faster. Ooh, this is a pretty one too. I like how the trees look when we move this way. Any hoos, I do not know why I'm currently in this dress. I cannot recall exactly what happened that uh, put me in this thing. This is a new filming thing. Same sweater, but new one. Also, HD, you can see little specks on my sweater. Holy crap, I have to wear cleaner clothes now when I film because I can be seen more easily. Oh well. Anyway, I know that, or not know, but I was pretty confident that we needed to go here and uh, try robo-braining it up. There we go. Uh, new automatron was my hunch. Build an automatron. Yes. So I was under the impression that the robo-brain head was going to have to be the new body. Adds mes- Ooh. Is that, is that the robo-brain that we were specifically? talking about or is it just a robo brain hold on let's see what happens when i i get back just get off now wait no no rename rename oh my god jezebel i know i'm bouncing this around a little bit jezebel and okay jezebel it is all right is this jezebel or is this just a robot this unit is currently in factory default mode do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine uh, I'll decide I'm later. I'm not sure. I'll just decide later. Acknowledged. Remaining in factory default mode. You can enable this unit's personality subroutine at any time by utilizing the vocal interface. Identity confirmed. This unit is ready to serve. Let's get going. the road. Confirmed. All systems at your command. Uh, let's just put her to sanctuary for the moment. Uh, before we do any of this, I was expecting that we were going to put Jezebel's head here. That doesn't seem to be the case, even though I named him Jezebel. I really like having a robo-brain up there. That's so... Oh, I gotta talk to here you. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being... Well, a real pain in the neck. Are they? Um, can you tell me more? What else do you know about them? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Really? Hopefully, this particular robo brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. Interesting. Synth? A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. Okay. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions, primarily to accelerate the decision making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers. To follow orders without question. The gotcha. robo brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. Interesting. Uh, I think we, we still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. Right. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. Yeah, I'm afraid it. when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Ooh. Ooh, you're being very helpful. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, ah! I feel like I've been failing in my duties. 
I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, oh, I'd still be alive. Sad. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Don't think that you way. You shouldn't think that way. Your personality helps you think creatively. I always considered my personality to be a burden, but I suppose I've been looking at it incorrectly. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, <laughs> she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. That's certainly one way to look at it. But uh, now I've accidentally fucked this part up and uh, we've put a different brain up here. Jezebel's head. Alright. There we go. Jezebel, how do you feel right now? I mean, I didn't exactly make you very pretty or anything. Um, now did I screw up my other robot, or did we really just grab Jezebel and replace for Jezebel? Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. Oh, well, that's good. What were you expecting? What kind of body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. However, Thanks. I suppose I Jerk. shouldn't be surprised. Given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sarcasm. Sorry, your highness. The royal tailor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Nonsense. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know? And then I'll be on my way. It's not going to work quite like that. Um, but why are you so uncooperative? Why did General Atomics make you so uncooperative? I haven't the faintest idea of what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm a top-of-the-line model with an efficiency rating that makes Mr. Handy look like a glorified toaster oven. Okay. When given a set of instructions, I will complete them without question and without error. Now, uh -huh. Were there any other ridiculous questions you wanted to ask? How did your brain get separated if that was just so the way it was, huh? Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. Okay. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping? Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human <laughs> is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. <laughs> it's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help <laughs> tends to result in numerous complex side effects. Really? Oh, you don't understand help. I don't think you understand the definition of help. Help. To give or provide what is necessary to accomplish a task or to satisfy a need. I'm doing exactly as I was instructed. <laughs> Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Kay. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. Yeah, I think you're struggling with this. Elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. Really? All right, let's 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 find the mechanist. Can we stop with the petty bickering and just get to the part where you tell me how to access the mechanist's facility? I promised to answer your questions. And unlike humans, I don't have the capacity to lie. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. Okay. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. No, 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 no. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. Ah, what a jerk. 
So, could you be actually become a follower? Haven't you already interfered enough? Go away. No, I guess I can't make you a follower. I have two level ups. And uh, I actually had a comment that said that I should actually continue pushing into the robotics uh, expert. Uh, the thought process being that when I hack the robot, I can then incite it to attack. I would be stoked level 44, but we're not going to get there. Probably for a long time. But I, it, I might at the end of this, just for fun, pump us up to level 44 so I could get this and show all y'all what I was going to do with my ability to hack anything. Anyway, so I think that should be an A-OK -okay option because the idea of being able to incite it to attack would be very helpful. We're going to keep the last piece of a update or upgrade because I'm just not sure what to do yet with it. And um, I guess we're going to go back to Ada. Ada? Ada. Ada, I'm sorry that I had another robot following me around for a little bit. I didn't really... God, I'm so... so I love, fucking love the hat and dress combo. It's just so pretty. Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. <laughs> uh, that's an understatement. That's an understatement. Rudest robot ever. And she just walked away. <laughs> Don't be Ada. rude too. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. I know who's the closest second robot. Jeez, but I'm gonna ask the top one now. Is there a chance these robots could be misinterpreting orders? Yes, I've considered the possibility. The contradictory nature of the Mechanist's broadcasts are troubling. But the truth is, regardless of intent, the Mechanist needs to be stopped. These robots are too much a threat. Were you able to discover how to gain access to the Mechanist? Uh, MSAT. Something, something. I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. Interesting. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. Nice. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. Can see it's it. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? None. I want to say I'll improvise, but let's see Did what her you idea is. I am at an impasse. I wish to see the mechanist endure the same fate as my friends, but I know this to be due to my personality subroutine. When I compartmentalize, oh. I want to know reason and motive before passing judgment. This is why I leave the decision to you. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Would you allow me to assist you on this mission? Uh, yeah. Of course, Ada. Let's go. Lead the way. Whew, sorry about that. I didn't mean to screw up my entire camera system. You lead the way, and I'll follow, sir. I don't need to call me sir. We're we're equals in this situation. <laughs> yeah, didn't mean to knock that over a little bit. Uh, what I'm gonna be happy to do now is take advantage of Ada and building this, and we're gonna give her a little bit of an upgrade. So I guess the one thing that I'm missing is it's adhesive. <sighs> Always adhesive. Jezebel, do you have an adhesive? At least now I'll have time to work on my pie to the last digit calculation. Glad Just you thought. Go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? Hold on, maybe I could actually tear her apart. Okay, so on this little quest for adhesive, I figured why not head back over to Concord, where uh, the uh, first level is and everybody does all the talking and whatnot, and just demolish a couple raiders, because I'm sure during the process we would find a couple bits of adhesive. And uh, we only need one, and then we can move on to the rest of the actual... Uh, mechanist mission. So I thought, hey, that's a good way to do it. It'll be fun to smack some people uh, with some of our new weapons. Ada is being a complete jerk and getting in my way. Luckily, I can fall through the floor and escape. Okay, let's uh, go screw up a couple raiders right now. Celebrate history at the Museum of History. Oh, I bet this character actually already knocked over all the raiders when I, I first started it as Kublai Khan. Well, we could do it in the Museum of Freedom then. Just as much fun. Okay, Ada, let's have a kill count, all right? I go first, and it's first person to win. Gets the most kills, all right? All right, Raider, don't you die by the robot. Die from my axing hand. Boom! One! Okay, I don't know why I did it again. One! All right, we're going for two. Come on, Ada, I'm gonna win. Alright, I'm gonna make the assumption that anybody who's dead by the time I get to them was killed by Ada. Um, oh, I'm out. Okay, well, here we go. Two. 
Nice. Go on to the next one. Alright, just get the hell out of here. Three. Four. Ow. Four. Nice. Oh, I'm going for five. Ow. Oh, you interrupted me. Five. Six. Oh, I missed. Six. Seven. Oh, I love it. Alright. I got the winning. I got seven kills. Now there's gonna be a lot of stuff here that I don't really need. Nah, I was I'm honestly wow, that's a lot of blood everywhere. Honestly, you know, looking for uh, ooh, stim packs are nice. Something that uh, you know would work to stick stuff together. I swore that I would find some wonder glue. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and head back and give you that uh, radar thing we were looking to do. Actually, before I do that, I have the idea of uh, just walking Man, in. Perception bubble head. I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Gonna walk away. That's it? You're gonna walk away? Uh, yeah. I don't need to worry about you. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, set Ada up so that she can get the cool MSAT thing on her. Boop. Radar beacon. MSAT. Boom. Alright, so now we're able to do that. Access mechanist doors. Tracks mechanist robots. Cool. Now I'm also gonna see uh, if I can do any upgrades here. So it appears some of the coolest things are all just adhesives away. So I'm a little bit disappointed and I'm uh, I'm gonna go on a little bit of an adhesive binge at one point. Okay, a couple important changes. We've added the Robo Brain head. So she's now able to use a Mesmatron attack. She has double laser shooting arms, which is pretty fun. And a sentry hand too. So uh, plus I made a red. And I really like this buff Ada look. I mean, it's so different than the initial Ada that we had to come in. And now we have this completely Kublai conned out robot, and it's very exciting. Okay. So, also, let's look at Jezebel, who just sucks right now. And I'm saying that to your face, because you're a jerk. Look at how cooler she looks floating around with her double lasers. Ha! Okay. Uh, important things. Let's grab our suit of armor. Oh, man, we're just two peas in a pod. Red and red, huh? Looking good. If only I could give you some electrical Tesla stuff, we would be totally matching. All right, so the mechanist's bad place is uh, right over there, pad place. His lair is right here. So we could cross the water here, which I'm going to actually jump to here to see if that's the right thing to do. And then we might move across this way and cross the bridge if it uh, doesn't seem to fit. But since we have a dock right here, we might be able to find a way across. Oh, God, I love this. I would love to build this robot. I think it looks so cool. With all the spikes, it's just like, hey, more spikes, more spikes. What did I say about not enough spikes? We need so much. Ooh, it's like a spider. Okay, now it's daylight again. We have our direction in front of us. This is where there's a bunch of super mutants before. And uh, they do not know what hit them if uh, they're going to come up against us now. I have an extra agility in this, the Tesla armor, a lot of extra, like, electrical damage, which is actually energy damage. I just keep calling it electrical. And uh, we can move along this way through the water in order to get closer to our spot. Oh, man, don't we look beastly? Oh, and Ada. Oh, Ada is looking good, too. I feel like I kind of want Ada to look like her traditional self and then build a whole new robot. Against the Radstad? <laughs> oh, they're like fire! Using some of the most technically advanced stuff that exists to humankind. And we just bashed everything with a hammer. Oh, are you mad about us killing your mate? That's sad. Oh, this hammer is insane. Adding on the extra electric coil has really done a lot to it. Okay, so it's just straight across there. Uh, you know, I've never fully understood how oxygen is used in uh, when you're in the water because I can walk in and like Radiation's hitting me, but I'm protected from some radiation in the power armor. I, I don't know. I I Don't have aqua. I could unlock aqua boy potentially, but I don't really know hmm. I wish I could take a boat. That would be so sick. I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk around and uh, Take advantage of you know some of our extra powers that we've now picked up way stronger great equipment and we could just test it out see if uh you know we need to change anything if anything is updated if i need to make it more difficult at all like because before we found that it was really difficult without the armor like but now we can just kind of like run straight in and just smash everything immediately we have the extra strength my controller keeps dying and so if i uh all of a sudden, ah! That's why, and uh, I know I can just charge it on, but we're in filming. We're almost done, and so I'm like, it's it's okay. I just got some upper skull. 
Can I draw? What does Upper Skull look like? Upper Skull is not in miscellaneous, so I don't. Ex I guess it would be in junk. Oh man, I can't go that way quite yet. Um, I don't want to just charge across the water, so we're gonna just make a little run for it and enjoy the colors of everything and punch ghouls in the face with our hammer. Oh. I kind of wish that the way that vats worked is that when I charge somebody with the blitz, that it would then go, all right, Kublai Khan is close to the opponent, meaning that the next blitz is actually going to be able to hit that person. Because otherwise, I go to them, stop, then re-enter vats, and then go after the person, which I would have been close enough to hit them after the blitz anyway. So it would make sense to, like, chain your blitzes along kind of thing. Oh, Raider Scum. Raider Scum, my good friends. Let me teleport, swing my hammer axe object into your arm. Uh, man, after like some of the play that we've done and how difficult it's been. Oh, another teleport attack and another disconnect from the controller. Okay, so time has officially gone up, but that's okay. We have the controller now with a new battery pack. And uh, let's go ahead and just take out everybody. Maybe there's adhesive here. Oh. Man, this is, I mean, they're raider scum, which is pretty easy to take out for sure. But it's like, these guys are nothing. Like, I'm having zero worry fighting these dudes right now. It's just one hit, taking them out. But I mean, it makes sense gameplay-wise. Did you see a big blue wave? Oh, that must have been her Mesmatron attack. Oh, that's so cool. It seems like if. <laughs> it seems like... We, uh, she's, I mean, what is, what's the word? We've taken everybody out? Yeah. I was expecting that to be a little bit longer. Ada, I really want to watch you do your shoot attack. Okay, well, let's just keep moving along for a little bit. Like I said, this technically the timer is up. Fusion core removed. That's okay. There we go. Hi. Are you worried about me? Is it me? Oh, you on the left. This is Pikmin's gallery. <gasps> oh, this is a great spot for uh, a melee person to go. The weapon that you pick up here has tons of bleeding damage. Really, really good option. I uh, I honestly would love to do this mission, but we have the mechanist to do. And so it's cool, like if we wanna keep playing with this Kublai Khan afterwards, up the difficulty again or whatnot, I don't know exactly how to do it. I'm, uh, I'm definitely just hitting dudes in one smack. So it's taking some of the uh, the difficulty out of it, but we are running around in extremely high level power armor. Legendary armor, in fact. And the legendary armor, if we can check it out real quick, the torso increases energy damage. So does the right arm, so does the left arm. So when we're wearing this and we're swinging our energy damage super sledge, check this out. 36 extra damage, plus whatever else they do. I don't exactly know what else they do, but it's uh. It's a lot of extra damage. I thought it was like eight extra, I think when I looked at the, the workbench before. So it's like another four. Yeah, another four. Uh, no, 36 is, that would be 32. It's a little bit more than four times the extra amount. So it's pretty sweet. Ceramic bowl. That's useful to have in here. I feel like we are just the ultimate assassination team right now. We're dressed to the nines. I am covered in electrical like destruction of robot armor stuff and she is a mesmatron shot and laser guns well, that's right the boat oh the uss constitution is a flying boat hello robot scanning scanning accessing pre-war records record found 108th infantry regiment second battalion oh hi there Tis Providence, a member of the Congressional Army, is delivered to us in our hour of need. Uh, this is awesome. We're gonna do this later, but not right now. We're done with the episode. Dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. Holy crap, three, it's, I mean, look, look, when I wave my hand around, it doesn't get super crazy flippity. It kind of does, but not nearly as much as it used to, and that's awesome. So anyway, new camera, I'm excited about it. Weird being in HD. Thank you so much for being here. It's a total joy to have you. May the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dude, see you later. Bye.